our God is always calling to us. Our God is always calling to us. There is always that invitation. Um, though we are present in our bodies, there's always that invitation to see a bigger picture. We're being asked to take notice. We're being asked to live into our humanity. Otherwise, what's the point? Why are we here if not to be the product, to be the filter, the intercessor between the sun and the moon, the sun and the earth? If it's not to bring in our destiny, our cosmic purpose, then we could be somewhere else. We could be without bodies. We could, but we have bodies, we're here now, and there is a reason for having a body on this planet in this day and age. It's to bring that sunshine, that sunlight, warmth, and gravity through into our world. We're not spiritual, trying to live a spiritual life that only has a sort of love and light aspect to it. No, we're here now, present, with everything that we've been given. Heredity, culture, color, all of those things. That's the physical level. That's what gets infused and um, lit up by the cosmic design. What you do today is important because you are exchanging a moment of your life for it. And it, it, that requires us being kind of with it and conscious and available for that life to move. We are available and present to let that um, influence and let that connection fill the whole world. What I let out is all of that largeness and cosmic design. So, our God is always calling to us, always asking that there be acknowledgement, that there be awakeness, that there be somebody home, somebody there to receive the call. And it's good to recognize all of what is present physically, and not just what we consider the good things. It's not about getting better and better. It's about revealing something I already am. So I happily take on the challenge of living in this body, in this plane of existence, and increasingly opening myself to the uh, revelation that brings the health and healing to all. <laughs>